So, here we are. I'm trying to decide, uh, well I already decided. When I go on these walks, I either take my radio, and the DJs are my fucking niggers, fucking play the fucking music, because it's like angels and shit, right? What are you watching, birds? The fuck you watching, huh? Fuck you. Fuck you, birds. Fucking birds over there watching and shit. So like, uh, where I play the, uh, or I, or I bring the wisdom for the way, or I bring this, my, um, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I don't remember where I got it. It's a songbook or some shit from church or something. I don't know. It was the time I was homeless and like I found a songbook and it was like, uh, you know, it was like, no, 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 it wasn't really like homeless. It was more like, like give all your money away and go walk around with the fucking homeless and shit. So like, anyway. So like. So like what? Don't want to have what? A woman, you know, there's kind of an empty spot, you know. So like, as long as the empty spot's not bothering you, fucking you're okay, you know. So Diane is like, so we're friends. I'm like what? <laughs> oh well, you know, as long as the empty spot's full, there's no problem, you know. But uh, anyway. So now we're in zero gravity. What you know, it's kind of like, kind of like a fucking bucket list. You know, you get that checked off, your fucking mentality is okay. What? So like they got a uh, Knights of Templar or some shit. They got their imaginary woman. And you got Don Quixote and shit. Anyway, as Danny would say, <coughs> what about dad? My <coughs> shit came out died now. <coughs> Fuck that shit. Fucking be a monk. <laughs> oh, but you got the empty spot. What? <coughs> you know, you just gotta get the, gotta trick your empty spot. Some shit, I don't know. So, uh, I guess that's a car. I guess that's a car. More like it, even. It's a car. Then we got some water. So, something to do with women's wit. I don't know. Wit. Now we are. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, I did it. Holy, holy fuck. How did I do that? Holy fuck. I fucking balanced and shit. Okay. So. I fucking pulled the Jedi. Don't know how the fuck I did that. You know, you, you can think your center of gravity is the final answer. But no, I'm fucking pushing sideways on the fucking curb with my foot. I swear to God, I was fucking pushing sideways. You can you can fix your center of gravity if your foot's on the floor and you fucking turn all this shit. No, you understand that? So like, you might think that no, it's just center of gravity. That's all that matters when you're walking on the plank, right? When you're walking on the plank, do center of gravity? No, you can fucking put a sideways force on it. Terry never realized this. He used to just think, eh, eh, eh. he just wasn't thinking. <clears throat> and again, another passage says, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus. Pilate permitted it, so he came back, took his body. Nicodemus, one who had first come to him at night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh, now was weighing about 100 pounds. They took the body of Jesus, bound it with burial cloths, and spices, according to the Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where they have crucified was the garden. Okay. So like the paladin sharpens his sword, and you know what he does? The paladin clears his mind, 
and then his hand upon the blade, sharpening the blade. That's how the paladin gets his sword sharp. He becomes a Jedi. My hairs are on end. Can you see my hairs are on end? I just got a fucking erection. Oh, I'm fucking all fucking erected shit. So the paladin. Sword. Roar. Roar.